Recently, in the art community, something weird has occurred where an artist by the name of Hickey Chu on Twitter, I mean X, I'm still not used to it, has allegedly been doxxed by random people who are upset that they screenshot the MS Paint toolbar in their artwork when they posted on social media and somehow this act resulted in them getting doxxed and if you're like me you're probably equally as confused because same so it all started with this tweet where they say can't believe i'm getting doxxed because i screenshot my art with a toolbar this is such a silly reason please whoever is trying to change my passwords in all accounts i am and getting access to personal information. Stop. I have literally done nothing to deserve this. And as you can see, these people have signed them up to... Weird shiz that you don't want to be signed up to. I don't really know how they... Got doxxed from a toolbar. I don't think they mean they siphoned information out of the toolbar because i don't i don't know <laughs> what personal information ms paint is showing but as an exam example of their art here it is very cute i personally love the aesthetic of leaving in the toolbar i don't know i just think it has a nice charm to it another example another very cute stuff i like it a lot i mean I'm just a sucker for this kind of aesthetic, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, so I might be a bit biased. But I already follow a lot of artists who do this sort of thing. And I myself personally have left in the Procreate toolbar in a screenshot of like a work in progress just because sometimes it looks nice. But here's an example of the recently changing tide of opinion in regards to MS Paint artists. <laughs> and as you can see here, MS Paint artists making sure they have the toolbar at the top of their screenshots. And f funny gif. Ha ha! Basically, I feel like people are interpreting MS Paint artists like showing the toolbar in the top of their drawings as like a slap in the face saying, oh, look at how superior I am using a rudimentary art program and creating wonderful works of art. I, I don't know, man. I don't think it's that deep. I honestly think the majority of them do this purely for the aesthetic. I may be wrong, uh, but let's have a little more of an explore on Twitter and see what other people think of this. MS Paint artists. <laughs> Why are people so mad about it? <laughs> Why? Oh, and there, there's Hickey in the in the in the comments. Why? Why is? Why do people hate this so much? But here you see them d screenshotting the Procreate toolbar as well. I hate this artist because they always take the time to screenshot their art with the MS paper. Bro, is this for real? Are you guys pulling my leg? <laughs> like, is this genuine? That there are never high quality versions provided any there, anywhere. If there was, I would have no issue with how you do things. <laughs> What? It's it's the it's it's the it's the aesthetic, bro. What? What do you mean? Yes. Oh yeah. And another argument was like how, you know, MS Paint artists boasting that they use MS Paint for their artworks when they've added in layers. Uh, recently, St still, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just not built to. To use MS, but I'm not good at it. I require a lot more control in my digital artwork. I find it really difficult to draw with a mouse or even like a tablet. I find it really hard. I'm so used to my drawing. I'm so used to my iPad now when I draw. Even if it has layers, I still think it requires a lot of skill. 
I mean, here's another mention of it. I mean, I honestly don't think there's a lot of people that go around saying they hate MS Paint artists. I never, I never really took it as a flex. The only time I took it was a flex is from like those 2010 YouTube videos of the dude doing the speed paint of Santa and MS Paint. That's the only time I took it as like a show of skill. But I never, I did not think of it in this way. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so, so harsh for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't know guys. I feel like from what I've seen, it seems to be a bit of an insecurity thing with other artists. Like, why does it bother you so much that some people feel confident enough why does it bother you so much that people screenshot their art with the MS Paint toolbar? And even if it is to flex, let them flex, who cares? <laughs> who cares? Who cares? Why do you care? It certainly doesn't warrant doxing. I mean, I feel like that doesn't even have to be said. And I don't know too much about the situation regarding the doxing as, you know, not much information has been provided. I mean, I guess there are... How do they know that that is coming? Uh, that is a result of them posting the toolbar in their artwork? I don't know. Uh, because I have a feeling it might not be to do with that because that seems like such a radical action to do when someone is just screenshotting the MS Paint toolbar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, it, it reminds me a bit of when really young artists feel the need to always mention their age in their, in their posts on social media. I mean, I felt a little insecure about that, so I, I can definitely, like, understand the people who feel bad when people are able to create amazing art in simple art programs when they can't you know and it, it, it's the same thing as feeling bad for when you see a 10 year old drawing better than you are at your at your elderly age i think that we just need to learn that everyone has their own process everyone is at different stages it really isn't a big deal Let's put the duck spin away. No. Bad. <laughs> Let's be nice and not sign people up to gambling websites. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's about all. Um, uh, please keep doing MS Paint toolbar drawings because I love them. There's some really cool artists who do that. I, I, as I said earlier, I personally love the aesthetic. It's not something I partake in just because I'm, I, I haven't successfully drawn a image I like in paint that looks cool and aesthetic like the cool kid drawings. But yeah, stay safe. This is a, a sort of a different video than what I usually do, but. I want to make a video, I haven't made a, a full length video in a long time. And I mean, I'm an art YouTube channel, so I'm making an art v YouTube channel video. Yay! Okay guys, bye!